This is Fan First Network. So that's it. The Leafs go down in five after breaking their 19-year first round drought. I have no words to describe what I'm feeling right now. Um, I mean, fuck, I did not expect this from Florida at all. Nope. I didn't expect us to go down three to nothing in the series. I expected much more from this team to come out fighting hard. They should have wanted it more. They didn't show up until game three of the series. No, they didn't show up till yeah, game three. And, you know, when you do something like that, you're going to pay for it. You're not going to prevail. You're not going to come out on top. And, you know, Florida's out there playing a full 60 every single fucking game, and we're not out there doing – we're out there with our fucking heads in our asses not knowing what's going on. You know, it's almost like they didn't even know there was a second round to hockey. They that sounds about right with the Leafs, honestly. Yeah. So – we're now in a situation where it feels negative despite the fact we came out of the first round. There's going to be a lot to talk about what's going to happen in the offseason. Dubis, Keefe, the core four, what do you want to see happen? You know, these guys have had so many chances, chance after chance to prevail. And you know what? We come back, we, uh, we do it for the first time in 19 years passing the first round. We love to see it. The city was excited. Some. Man, it's it's our it's negative out here. Like you can't you can't describe the atmosphere any other way than negative. Uh, you know what? These fans have a right to be pissed off. They do. I mean, we're not going to be happy about this shit. I don't think anyone is. But the core forward needs to happen. Something needs to happen there. I mean, it's either Marner. Mar I mean, Marner's a great player, but the problem is for me is Matthews had a good first round. Marner has picked it up in the last couple games and had a great season. Nylander honestly has been decent. For most of the playoffs, I genuinely don't know what the solution is. Neither do I. The solution is I. that the Leafs just actually suck? Yeah. That's not a solution. That's the problem. That's, oh, that is what's the, the problem. They need to go golfing. Yeah. Oh, well, they're definitely going to go golfing. Oh, they're going to see Tampa and uh, Boston on the golf course. But uh, It was yeah. Batman's fault. Batman's fault. <laughs> He's been in the league too Bro. long. He's, he's I gone. hate Gary Bettman as much as the next guy, but we lost this series ourselves. No, this is our Fair fault. enough. You know what? Fair fault. enough. Next year's our year. That's all I'm going to say. That's oh, all yeah. I'm going to say. <laughs> I was out here 12 months ago, and all of these fans said the exact same thing. So when is our year? When we actually decide to smarten up and act like a fucking NHL team. Because what, what happened in this series, man, it's disgusting. It's honestly... You, you come out here, you're expecting your team to play a full 60 every fucking game. You're going up against a team like Florida, which, no disrespect, great team. We didn't expect it. You know, before the series started, everyone was saying, including myself, do not take Florida lightly. We went in there with a mindset, taking them way too lightly. We lost the series because of it. But, man, honestly, like, there's not a whole lot else to say. Um... If you could change, make one change going into next season, you're the GM, you're the you're the director of hockey ops, whoever's left at the end of this, what are you doing? Well, for one, I'm getting rid of Justin Hall, for fuck's sakes. Easy. Easy, done. Uh, you know, I, I really hate to say it, but uh, maybe shake things up with maybe Marner, maybe, maybe Matthews. I'm not too keen on Matthews because, fuck, I love the guy, but... You know, these guys have had too many chances. Something needs to be done. Okay, what would you say to the fact that it might be a lack of leadership with this team and part of the issue is our captain, John Tavares? I've actually, I've thought about that quite some time. You know, in the first round, he was great. He was. He won us a game. Second round, he's nowhere to be found. Not even a captain anymore, not leading this team at all. I mean, there were no fucking leaders for this team. You know, I don't even know how we fucking won a game. To be honest with you, like we did not out, we did not deserve to win more than three games in this entire playoff run. Absolutely fucking not. And you know, I keep repeating myself, but it's the only thing to say about this situation that we didn't play hockey. We, we were in here, we're trying to win these games. You know, you're you're out here, you're playing for your city, you're playing for your team, you're playing for yourselves. So you got fans out here that have watched you guys for generations, fucking years and eons. And you give them the same shit every single fucking year, and, you know, it hurts, man. It hurts. But are we the crazy ones because we keep coming back? Oh, we're definitely the fucking crazy ones because we all know that we're going to be back. You know, you say you're going to burn your jerseys, you're going to give up, fuck the Leafs, whatever. You can say whatever you want. We'll you see you for game one of the regular season. We'll be back here. We'll all be back here. 
because you know what? As much as I hate people saying it's never going to happen, it's never going to happen, it'll happen eventually. This is Fan First Network.